A lot of my friends in organized labor know when I think climate, I think jobs. I think union jobs, not a joke. U.S. President Joe Biden pitched the promise of a green economy to union workers in Philadelphia on Thursday with the message that solar, wind, and electric vehicle industries can deliver the same economic benefits for organized labor as fossil fuel-reliant refineries and power plants. A bill called the Inflation Reduction Act, signed into law last year, directed billions in funding and subsidies toward renewable industries, an accomplishment Biden is touting as he seeks re-election. Today, we announced the first ever offshore wind sail in the Gulf of Mexico. Across the Delaware River in Paulsboro, New Jersey, workers are welding the steel foundation for another large-scale wind project. That's going to create more than 3,000 good-paying jobs. But union workers in places such as Philadelphia may be skeptical that a national shift to green energy will protect their paychecks. According to the Department of Energy in June, overall energy jobs in the U.S. grew 3.8% in 2022 to more than 8.1 million, led by fast growth in clean energy jobs. Clean energy jobs, a wide category including wind and solar power, nuclear and grid technologies, and battery storage, made up 3.1 million of those. Whether those gains will be union jobs is another question. A Reuters analysis earlier this year found roughly 80% of the more than 50 electric vehicle battery, solar panel, and other factories announced since passage of the IRA in August are in states with laws that make it harder for workers to unionize. We're making sure these new jobs come free and fair and the ability to join a union if you're not already in a union. Biden has billed himself as the most pro-labor president in history, but he may be tested as a growing number of unions hit the picket line seeking greater benefits and compensation. Hollywood actors and screenwriters are on strike. The auto workers are bracing for a possible labor shortage, and a potential economically damaging strike by UPS workers looms next month.